Hello, I'm Jeff Nelson with Cala Grande Ranch. We're here at our breeding facility, as you can see. We feel like our breeding facility is, is unbelievable in terms of genetics. Every ranch starts with genetics. Obviously, nutrition is a big part of that and the environment's there. Um, but certainly, we introduce genetics and get to the point where we can add to the native genetics that are here, and we think that's certainly very important. When we feel like Texas blood and Texas deer uh, are meant to be in Texas, and that's pretty important to the survival once they're released into the ranch here. Those genetics range from, you know, yearlings that are in the 170s and 180s, and certainly as three-year-olds, as you can see from 7C's success over the last three or four years, that, that ranges up to uh, around 265, 270. We certainly think that we're raising some pretty good deer, and we're excited about that. We currently have six pens here uh, at the facility. We have three buck pens and three doe pens. Unlike most of the other big whitetail uh, breeding facilities, we naturally breed all of our genetics here. We do selective breeding as most do, where we take uh, you know, the, the, the good daughters, the good mothers, and bring them up and breed to you know, the biggest bucks we can find. We continue to improve that. And obviously with the, uh, the average size deer in our facility here over the last three years, it's probably grown by 30 or 40 percent. It seems like we're doing something right. We're excited about that for sure. So uh, we just wanted to introduce you to our breeding facility and that helps us succeed in the hunting operation here on the ranch. Hopefully you enjoy it. So that's actually called a piebald deer, uh, piebald, and uh, you know it's it's super rare. Uh, you, you just don't see very many of them. You know the the white coat and white skin that they have or white fur. Um, uh, it's different, um, as you can tell, with the spots with brown and stuff like that. Uh, they have a number of other genetic disorders, as you can tell. Their back feet are turned in. Their skeletal size is a lot smaller. Uh, than some of the other deer and it's interesting their their bottom jaw is a lot shorter than their up their uh, upper jaw and so they have a severe underbite <laughs> and so those are all kind of after doing some research after we had that one uh, those are all somewhat genetic uh, traits that <clears throat> that a piebald deer have and because of those genetic genetic disorders uh, they say that the success rate or the um, Live rate for the or the rate for them to survive survival rate out in the wild are is really really low so that's why you typically don't ever see them out in the wild you might see them in a breeding facility because we can keep them alive and take really good care of them stuff like that 